Number three, Mike McDaniel must improve as a coach. We've been saying this for a long time. He needs to develop as a coach. And also when things get a little squirrely or a little off script, he needs to be able to adapt. That was the big knock last year on he and Tua. That's two things. I think it's not just Mike McDaniel needs to improve. It needs to be Tua that needs to improve. Remember we had Brian Baldinger on and he was like, no, Tua has no problem if things get uh, off script. And you were like, no, no, <laughs> stop pandering to the fan base. I, I really didn't like when he did that. And you called him out. And you said, Baldy, I'm sorry. If Tua taps the ball more than once, he's in trouble. <laughs> no, that's not true. Okay. <laughs> I just been watching this. I'm just down here. I just watch this team a lot. Just know that um, we all said if everything's comfortable, everything's calm for him, everything's right. That guy is a he's a surgeon. But if everything's not there immediately for him, and he's got to tap that ball one more than once, it's not good. Now, hold on. I will show. Um, let me sh let me shoot him a little bit. He did lose weight a little weight this year, right? Yeah. So maybe now. He's going to be more, and he's got the bag as well, so he definitely could run more. <laughs> he, maybe he'll, because he's lost a little weight, maybe he's going to have a little bit more elusivity, if that's mm -hmm. a word, or elusiveness. Yep. That's probably elusiveness. So he'll probably be, have a little bit more elusiveness, so maybe on a third and five, if he doesn't see his first read or second read, he can run for the, five, the five yards for the first down. Maybe that can happen. But before, nope, he goes... You hear that? That play is done. It's either going to be a sack or an incompletion. That, to me, was one of the bigger disappointments of last season is that both Mike McDaniel and Tua Tunga Blow, when things got tough, they didn't get going, it seemed like. It seemed like they started just – and no, none was worse than the Tennessee game, the Titans game. When Tyreek Hill went down, he just looked like deer in headlights. But and not even that. It was 28-14. Run the freaking ball. That was terrible, too. Yeah. You got a two – you got you got a two-possession lead, a – Two touchdown lead, run, and you got a hundred, you got thousand yard runners, and they couldn't convert a first down. Come on, one man. first down would have ended the game, and it was just frustrating. And then you let, and then of course you let Will Levis, not the greatest quarterback in the world, but yeah, that you that know game what bothers me. me with coaches is when, and it's it's got to be the mentality, right? Because like I guess the certain coaches that the defensive minded coaches who on offense when they 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 like to know. They like to run the ball, right? They like to be physical, and you hear the you hear the players, former players, that like we they knew what we we're gonna run, we and we still you ran it anyway, right? And still got what you needed, the success that you needed. It's twenty, hey, bro, Miami. You got some you got some horses there. If they know you're gonna run the ball, it's a and it's only two or less than three yards to gain. Run the freaking ball. Yeah, it's all about execution. Yeah, that's why you got those? That's why you got Armstead. My concern is that Jackson. My concern is that offensive line. 